Hi guys, so wonderful. Good evening to everybody. It's a great pleasure to have you here in this webinar. Thanks for my colleagues to Admiral Market that they opened this webinar and I want to say greetings and welcome to our Master the Markets webinar Wednesday evening as every week. I hope you had a great start into a new week and in a new month. It's July. Oh my God. It's, real, it's reality, the half of the year is over and done. So maybe you can give me a short hint uh, about the technical stuff. Can you hear me? Can you see me? And do you have the right slide in front of your PC? So give me a yes or no. Swayuna, thank you very much. Yes, okay. Then I guess it's everything is right. And okay, let's start into this uh, Master of Markets webinar. You want to talk about some trading ideas and about the running trades and some new ideas and you want to talk about a little bit education uh, today. But uh, first of all, don't forget guys, it's your webinar. Mark, uh, my, uh, Admiral Markets and myself, we want to make it happen that you have uh, all your answers to your questions because I know um, trading can be very frustrated and can be very confusing. So if you have any question, please feel free to type it in the chat box. I can see it uh, and I want to give you an answer because the, the biggest secret in trading, there doesn't exist a secret. And um, yes, by the way, let's go on. Let's start our webinar. This is the risk disclaimer. Please uh, make sure and be aware that you are responsible for your own trading. Um, this presentation and the accompanying video is for uh, information and only educational purposes only. Online educational materials are developed by Edmund Markets AS and distributed by Edmund Markets Group AS investment firms for a global audience for you. Therefore, please take into consideration that the information in this session may not be suitable for every one. So next one, you know, we have the European, we have the new regulation since last year, almost one year now, and uh, it, it, it differs between retail clients and professional clients. You know all that uh, stuff, so you have to choose between retail client and professional clients. And of course, um, Admiral Markets is one of the best broker overall because we have uh, DAX 30, the only one broker who has this DAX 30 by its own, it's an original, typical spread of 0.8 points during the main hour, trading hours. And of course, look at this one, best account safety, um, best order execution, STP, no minimum stop distances and so on. And of course, uh, 2016 and 70, and of course 2019, uh, Admiral Markets is again uh, published as the best broker here in Europe. Okay, and one world global offers. So before we start with our trading, and without uh, uh, before we start with our trading ideas, this is the trading approach. I guess you know it already. Um, we all know. That, uh, that there exists a lot of um, trading approaches around the world, there exists a lot of setups around the world, but in my opinion, the biggest challenge you know is taking place in your mind. To cope that challenge, it's, in my opinion, it is a need that you have a very easy trading approach because it's not a mathematic challenge and trading uh, might not be um, a rocket science. Trading must be as possible, uh, as easy as possible, that you are able to focus on yourself, that you are able to focus on your personal growth. Because there are so many things you have to accept in trading, maybe the inevitable things that you can stick to the rules, but uh, nevertheless you will lose money uh, on the other hand. This is hard to understand. So make it happen, make it happen please that your trading approach is easy as possible. And I am, a, I am a trader like you. I have the same experience like you. I had the same experience like you. 
and I have the same fight like you every day. I have to be disciplined like you. But I have 20 years experience right now. And after that long time, I can say you and I want to say you, please, whatever you do in the market, make it easy as possible. Avoid to have an opinion to the market. Avoid to uh, think you are stronger than the market. That doesn't work, guys. Stick to the rules and make it as easy as possible. One of the, one of the easiest trading approaches ever is the Dow theory. Charles Dow figured out some once a time that everything is based on supply and demand. And this consistently changing from more buyers than sellers and more sellers than buyers. At the end, you have movement and correction. And at the end of the day, you have your trend. So, and uh, he uh, published six, uh, six tenets of uh, the Dow theory. And one of the tenets is that a trend continuation is always more likely than a trend break. And the best, uh, the best option or the best opportunity to come into a trade is in the called accumulation phase. And this is if the trend is in the correction and is seemingly changing and more buyers in a long, of course, long trend, of course, and seemingly comes more buyers into the market. This is the accumulation phase. And we are speculating on a trend continuation. The probabilities for a trend continuation is uh, placed at around 65% if you have a really young trend, at least to the fourth correction. And if you can make sure that the higher time frame, so the big money, is supporting you by its own trend, by a support or a resist or something else, then it rises up the probabilities to almost 72%. So. Um, so one question, um, ah, okay, great, thank you very much. Welcome back, Vincenzo, nice to see you and I'm glad, glad to hear, have you here. Okay, so this is my trading approach and you know it's, it's always the same. In my opinion, it's one of the best things ever that you have a strict working style, that you do everything in every trade and every day the same thing. I guess it's almost the same in your normal job. So you don't drive a car, you're not a, drug, a car driver uh, in your job and tomorrow you drive a train or you fly a plane, an aircraft, something else. It doesn't work. So do everything, every day the same and every trade the same, then you have a high probability that you can, that you can be successful in trading. So. And of course, let me say something because this video uh, looks, um, this video looks a uh, lot of guys behind it. I'm a German guy and my English is uh, German style. So I make a lot of effort that you can understand me. But sometimes I will miss some words and sometimes the grammar is not the right one. And sometimes it's not fluently enough. I know that. Um, but don't forget. I'm speaking English since two years right now. And uh, around two years ago, I had a native speaker, then a trainer, and an educator for half a an year. And since then, I trained it by myself. So I don't speak English so long time, so such a long time. But I guess you understand everything I want to say. If not, type it in the chat box. I will repeat it. I can describe it, whatever you want. So um, that I want to say for you. So based on this trading approach, uh, we have our rules. Rule number five to seven describes where we are in the market. You know, we trade the price, we have Fibonacci, Fibonacci, we have the big picture, and rule number one to four describes how we can get into a trade. The valid trend is needed, a young trend, the correction has to run 38% at least, and then we use balance candles about Heikinashi to come into that trade. So it's a really easy trading approach. Make a screenshot. If you are here the first time, I see some new uh, names here. Welcome by Master the Markets. Oh, almost forgotten, guys. This is the last time that we have this webinar by GoToWebinar. 
since ne uh, up to next week on Wednesday, the 10th of July, we switch, please listen, it's very important, we switch with Edmund Markets to Zoom. Z Z Zoom, you know Zoom? Is everybody knowing Zoom, the webinar software Zoom? Can you give me a yes or no? Can you give me, do you know Zoom? It's a new webinar uh, software. Please type in the chat box. Zoom. Okay, let me uh, let me let me give you this one. I will help you. Zoom. So just a moment. So this is Zoom. Look at this one. So for everybody, this is Zoom. And since next week, Wednesday, we switch with this market, with this series to Zoom. So, but the point is, if you want to follow me again, you have to, you have to make a registration uh, new at Zoom. So I guess everybody who is in this webinar today will get an email from Admiral Markets by the next days that you have to make a new uh, registration. So if you um, are not sure what you have to do, I give you my uh, email address right now. Look in the chat box, I typed in my, my email and uh, if you don't want to miss this webinar next week, then write me an email, I give you the link. If you have forgotten it or if you will miss it or if you think uh, you cannot cope this challenge, um, it's a really cool platform, that's true. And Admiral Rockets will switch with every webinars to Zoom since next week's. And I would be really, really happy if you will follow my webinars, Master the Markets, uh, on Zoom next week again. Okay, that I want to say to you, that you realize that. Okay, so let's go into the charts right now. So, and uh, we have a little bit bad series about the last days. So first of all, you saw uh, we had, look at this one, it's really, it's really bad. So we reached our first target. Uh, we, you know, we made a new trend in Australian Canadian dollar. Uh, and after we reached the first target, um, we stopped out here and after we stopped out, we were stopped out, the price increases again. That's trading. Sometimes I hate it. Svayunas, uh, uh, it's in the chat box. Look at this one. It's in the chat box, but I give it uh, again to you privately. Here, look at this one. So now, do you have my email right now so you can write me whenever you want, so you don't miss the new uh, webinar series then. Ah, okay, great, that is you, great. Okay, so Australian Canadian dollar, you see, uh, we missed it and we were stopped out, but we have to stick to our rules. We have to place our stop here and after that we stopped out and after that the price increases to the upper side and uh, so, too bad. Okay, so next one was British pound Japanese yen. It was here, look at this one. We reached our first target here, you can see it, and with the, with the rest, we were stopped out here. Unfortunately, this is the fact, and it's a part of trading. But we have to choose and we have to set our stop. It's not the right way to accept big losses. If you accept big losses, guys, then you have a human problem. You have to think about yourself. But in a new webinar series starting in August uh, this year, we talk about this special topic. So then the next one was, um, we are still in, um, let's see, no, this one. Then we have, uh, we were stopped out in British pound uh, Swiss franc. So we tried it, you look at this one, we uh, got into the trade the trade started and after that, unfortunately, the price came sharply down and stopped us out here at around 124.025. 25 
this is too bad, but nothing happened. Okay, so it's a calculated loss, of course. So, but nothing, uh, we, I guess, we will have the next chance. So put it on your watch list for the next time. Uh, British pound Swiss draw. And of course, um, I want to show you this one. Uh, hmm, too bad here. Okay, maybe a little bit later. I want to show you my uh, trading room battle of titans and if you want if you don't want to miss some trades you can follow me there but actually it's offline <laughs> that's the <a> presentation <laughs> effect <laughs> fucking internet here okay guys uh let's go on so here here we are now the next uh idea is in british pound swiss fro so first of all you can see we reach this support zone here and we are in the green zone the point of control is placed here right now at 130 roundabout and so we have a lot of space to go guys it's almost 700 or 650 pips we have to go and the seasonal shows us a little bit higher prices to the next days and maybe we will see a double bottom on the lower side and this uh, offers us a new trading chance so we have to choose it again and we have to uh, wait for our rules and we can have the second shot the first shot was a loser but we have to do the second shot again so please put it in your watch list Jerome hello welcome here in our webinar and uh, yes and a running trade actually is Euro Swiss front so first of all you saw we had this divergence on the lower side then we have the balance candles in daily chart and now we are on track so the seasonal shows us high, higher prices to the next days, maybe next uh, 30, uh, 23 days, roundabout, smoothing up. And we have to choose it and we got into and you have the chance to come into this trade again. So let me draw it for you. And this is the trend I see, a little bit higher this trend. So this is my trend I see, movement correction and then completely up here and now we are in the correction so you see this one and if we set here our Fibonacci tool so you see we are stabilizing here at around 61 percent this is the Fibonacci best correction high so we have the chance you see all, a lot of balance candles so you see the market is stabilizing here and this is your, the one of our rules uh, wait for a balance candle so you have the chance to get into the trade again maybe you can place your stop uh, stop by here at round 111 30 roundabout and place your stop below 1.1081 and your first target, you know, we are, we are working with two targets. The first target we reached in the correction 61. And our first target is here at 61 on the extension on the upper side. And the second target, if we will reach the first target, we have a second target. You see, I opened two positions. The first target is placed here, a little bit uh, close to the 61 extension. And the second one I will the market let decide let the market decide how much money we will get so this is uh, the euro against the swiss franc we don't have uh, let's see next one is australian dollar new zealand dollar so you see we have a balance candle here that offers us a great chance look at this one we are first of all in the green zone Green zone means this is an unfair price. So the best price is placed at 109. What does it mean? This is, the, this is a special indicator. It's not priceless in MetaTrader. You can buy it. If you want to have more information, uh, send me an email. You find my email in the chat box. Then you have, uh, I will bring you some more information. But 
This indicator is very, very impressive and absolutely necessary. Why? You have to understand, even in Forex market, you trade the price. You trade the price from Aussie against New, Ze uh, Kiwi, New Zealand dollar. You trade a price. It has a special worth of that price. So, and like the price of shares or futures or options or something else, you have a best price in the Forex. There's only one, yes, it's available for MT5 as well. Of course, Meta Drive 4 and 5. And there's one difference of this uh, market profile indicator. Some guy says it's a volume profile. A volume profile is it if you can see the real volume, maybe in futures or in shares or in communities, metals and so on. Everywhere, everywhere you can see, or you can have a look in the order book, you see how much contracts were changed from buyers to sellers. In the Forex market, you don't have an official order book. The banks are trading to each other. Every bank has its own book map. You cannot have a look in this order book. But nothing changed. The banks and the traders are trading to each other and among to each other. This is very important. So let's have a look at this one. So you see, uh, no, it's not the right one. So you see, this is the tick chart. You can see it. Uh, I will bring you this. Ah, here is it. So you see, it is the same like in the future or in shares. They are trading to each other or together. You have buyers and sellers. Let me see you, let me show you the difference. <clears throat> Maybe you have the real order book. So look at this one. Here you have the real order book. Maybe this is DAX, for example. And here you can see you have supply and demand. But the one and only difference between the real order book and the Forex market is that you can see here how many contracts changed from sub buyers to sellers and on the other side. This is the only difference because a lot of guys said, how can you use the volume profile in the Forex market or market profile that doesn't exist in order book? That's wrong. There exist liquidity pools, there exist order books, but we cannot have an insight of the order books. In the future market, you can have this order book and you can see how many contracts are handled here or are traded here. This is the only difference. So, um, you see, we have a trade here as well, buyers and sellers, with the only difference that you don't can see or that you cannot see how many contracts change here. But nothing changed. Nevertheless, it makes no difference. So you can see where is a fair price. This is the point of control. Point of control in Forex market says it's the fairest price due the last one year or three years. In hourly chart, I use 1,440 candles. It means three months uh, in hourly chart. In daily chart, it means three years. So, um, or oh, one year, sorry, 660 candles. Uh, yes, three, uh, three years, yes, of course. So, and that means that you have this point of control. There exists the fairest price without the information how many contracts were traded there. But this is not important for me. It's the price where it feels most comfortable there. So if you go into the past, you see why. Look at this one. There's the most handles, are most hand traded around this point of control, around 109 around. So, and 70% of the volume around this point of point of control means the red zone 
or the fair price zone. That means the red zone. And outside of the red zone, you have the green zone. And green zone means you have an unfair price. Of course, again, without the information how many contracts, but this is not necessary. Not in our trading style. If you want to make order book trading or volume trading, then you need this information how many contracts change there, that you can see how many sellers come into the order book or buyers or something else. But in this trading approach, we want to make the trend trading and we use Fibonacci, uh, we use uh, Heikinashi. You have the balance candle and balance candle says like the word, uh, the word is called balance between supply and demand. And the balance candle occurs at the end of a movement or the end of the correction. And if you can see it and you have the fundamental information, where are you about the price and maybe about the information of the, let's see, about of the information of the seasonals. It's enough. You don't know. You don't need this information, how many contracts. We don't make order book trading here. We don't make volume trading here. It's enough to see if I have an unfair price or if I have a fair price. Question, guys, I need your help. Is this understandable for you? Did I explain it in the right way that you can understand it? It's important for me because I want that you become successful. And you need this information. Type yes or no. Yes. Okay, great. I have one yes. That's great. What about the others, guys? Type in the chat box if you are here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Two yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay, so put in your watch list Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. So you see the balance candle, you have the support here. We have the seasonals on our side, we are on the green side, we have a lot of space to go. Switch to the Aust switch here now to the uh, how should I say um, hourly chart. So at the moment we have this situation. We have a big move. We have one correction, but actually we don't have a trend. And you know, rule number one, we need a trend. So what do we need before we can think about the trade? We need a trend. That means we need a higher high as 104. We need a higher high and then we need the next correction. Rule number three, at least 38%. And rule number four, then we need the balance candle and then we can think about a long trade. So, and that's the point why you should wait for that and put it on your watch list, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. This is really important. So, then next one on our watch list is Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Look at the daily chart. Actually, we have this great support zone here. You see, we reached it already the second time. And now we have a lot of balance candles here. The seasonal shows us a little bit higher prices due the next 25 days. Maybe uh, to, yes, next 25 days, end of July. So we are deep in the green zone. We have a lot of space to go. We need to try it again. Look at the hourly chart where we are right now. This is unfortunately a little bit bad because we are within our, yes, we are within the red zone. And this is not the best situation to make a trade. So let's see. No, this is not the right one. So, so now we have a trade. Look at this one. We, we need to wait. 
So this is our train trend movement. Correction. And you see, now we have the trend. And of course, we saw the correction down here to 0.91, but we miss, actually we misses or we miss a balance candle. No trade without a balance candle. Wait for it if you will see a balance candle here around the point of control, not within the red zone. It's not, uh, it's a completely against the rules because you can see it's a little bit difficult. Look at this one. We have a great zone here. The price failed a lot of times here on the from up, down, one, two, three. Then from down from uh, down to up one two three four five times it's really difficult so wait if the price will come back to the point of control if we will see a balance candle land there then we can think about the long trade we can we can try it again Australian dollar against the Canadian dollar so um, then again US so just a moment, US dollar, here we are. For US dollar against the Japanese yen, we have to wait. Why? We have to wait. You see, we tried to make the max movement, but now we have a little bit lower prices, a stronger Japanese yen and a weaker US dollar. Maybe we have to wait if we will see the next balance candle here, and then we can think about the long trade again in US dollar, Japanese yen. Really? Look at this one. No, we don't. So let's see. Why not? Why not? Look at this one. Where we are, actually, we were within the red zone. So here we cannot make a trade because the probabilities are not on our side. We are actually in the red zone. The fair price, the fairest price is 108271. And this is the red zone, and we don't make trades inside or within the red zone. So wait for it if we can make a trade. Maybe we can choose it, we can try it if you will see a balance candle here on the lower side, we can try it to the daily chart. But that we will talk about next week. Don't forget next week. Don't forget it. How is the name of the new webinar platform? Do you know it? Zoom. Z-O-O-M. Zoom. Don't forget it next week. No go to webinars. Please make your registration again if you want to follow me. Only if you want to follow me again. Okay. So. British pound, Japanese yen, I guess so. We have a really, really weak British pound and we have to wait for the next trading idea. At the moment, we are in a short trend. We have a strong continuation candle to the lower side right now. So we have to wait because you can see in the hourly chart, we have our losses and we reached the border of the fair value zone. You can see it, that's a fair price. 136 and now we reach the lower border of the fair value zone. Here we have to wait for the next trading chance again. So then uh, this that was everything I have to say about the trade. So put it on your watch list for the next uh, days we talk about. So I have a little bit education topic this evening. Maybe you should write it down, whatever you learn here. So our topic today uh, for, the for the last 10 minutes is market and instruments. You know, we, we trade uh, different markets and instruments. There exists a lot of instruments and a lot of markets. And this is very important because don't forget, guys, we don't have, uh, we have a kindergarten and a high school or a university in the market. You have to learn it. And this is one market. Everybody 
is trading in that one market. That's the reason why I have to, we have to talk about a little bit education. Because trading and rules is the one thing, information is the other thing. So we have different market and instruments in our, in our market. We have Forex, we have the bond, we have stocks, we have communities. This is uh, uh, wheat, for example, metals, gold, silver, energy, oil. We have the future markets, DAX, Dow Jones, S&P 500. And on instrument side, we have the spot. Spot market is the same like Forex market. CFDs is contract for difference. Then we have shares, we have futures, and we have options. On the left side, you have the different markets you can trade. On the right side, you have the different instruments you have to trade. Please make this difference. So the Forex market, this is a little background information for you. The Forex market is the largest market with daily handled volume of around, no, not more, five, six billions. I have to fix it. This is six billions. Uh, of dollar. This is real dollar trillion, but this is real billion. In Euro it was billion and uh, US dollar is trillion. Six almost 5.8, exactly it's 5.8 billions of dollar every day. It's, it's not understandable. You cannot imagine this amount, uh, this amount of, uh, uh, of volume. Forex is perfect for beginners and still great for experts. Yes, of course, but why, Vincenzo? Why? I guess it's one of the easiest understandable markets. You have two currencies, Euro, US dollar, and this is a special worth, and you trade the price. And of course, this market is so big, it's the largest market, and 524. What does it mean? You can trade five days a week, 24 hours again, and with the highest liquidity ever. If you focus on the uh, on the um, on the biggest currencies, the minor or the 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 the, oh, the minor currencies and the main for a uh, main, not main. You know what I mean. <laughs> The most important things, the minor and the, not the, Jesus, I forget the words, but you know what I mean. Euro, US dollar, US dollar, Swiss franc, and so on. So, I, I forget already, really, I've forgotten. Unbelievable. Majors, thank you very much. Oh, my God. The majors and the, the minors. So, if you focus on that, you have a lot of liquidity. So, the bond market is the 10 years, the 5 years, the, uh, the 10 years rates and so on, is the second largest market with around 76% of volume of the forex market. Then on the third large market is the stock exchange, the, all the stocks, uh, American Express and, uh, and so on, you know, thousands of shares around the world, but not 524 only in the trading hours. Then the communities, it's wheat, it's cattle, it's uh, sugar, it's coffee, and so on. Thousands of shares, uh, it's the most handled by futures. And today, in the modern times of trading, if you have a small account, you don't need to trade futures, you can trade CFDs, contract for difference, it's almost the same like uh, the uh, futures, but we can handle it with a small account. And futures, the real futures, although we are talking about futures market, is an instrument, the future is an instrument as well, and most we trade in Forex. So in this webinars at Admin Markets, we trade in Forex. Sometimes I make some trades in bonds or in uh, communities or metals. Sometimes I make a trade in gold and silver or in oil but I do it by CFDs, not in the futures, because I don't have so big, I don't have a big account here on Admiral Markets. So this is a little bit background information about the market. So, and now to the instruments. The spot market is the same like the Forex market. 
And if you make a trade in Forex, you buy or you sell units. So at the big banks and the large traders are only unit trades units. So we have a difference. The biggest unit is one standard lot. One lot is like 100,000 units. This is the biggest. And the big accounts or the big traders are trading 100, 1,000 lots a day. So you can imagine the, 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 the volume of the accounts. A mini lot is like 10,000 units and one micro lot is like 1,000 units. So how large or how much money do you must do you have uh, do you have to um, put on your account? If you want and you want to stick to your rules and to your risk management, that's of course one standard lot. I guess you need more than 10,000 euros on your account. Then you can make a trend uh, a standard lot. Cause one pip, one pip is 10 euro, 10 euros or 10 dollars by pip. If you have a change of one pip in your side or against you, you win or you lose 10 dollars with one pip. If you have a mini lot, it's one euro, one dollar. And a micro lot, it's 10 cent or yes, 10 cent. If you want to make mini lots, it's enough to have an account of 5,000 euros maybe and uh, better 10,000. And for micro lots, it's okay. You have an account of maybe 100, 200, 300 dollars, 500 dollars at least and so on. The other instruments are um, they are self-explanated. Um, yes, uh, shares, of course, futures, options, and now CFDs. CFDs is the shortcut of contract for differences. Uh, once it's founded and created in England to avoid the tax of shares, they are very smart, the guys. And if you trade in CFD, you will win or lose the difference between buy or sell price. But, and this is the big information about CFDs, you can use and leverage. So in Europe, we have the registration about the ESMA to almost to in the highest 1 to 30 or 1 to 20. So if you choose that more markets, maybe in Australia or, or something is outside of Europe, then you can choose a higher leverage, maybe one to 500, one to 300. So you need less accounts, you'll need less money, and you can have a bigger loss, a bigger win, a profit, but on the other side, a bigger loss as well. Because this leverage leverages your loss and your profit by 500 or 200, whatever you choose. To be honest, guys, I want to be really frank to you. I don't, I hate leverages because people are very greedy and they're getting really greedy about the high leverage. But most of the times people forget that the leverage is working in both directions, on the profit side and on the loss side. And if you choose a high leverage, you can lose everything. So in my opinion, and I, in my position as a coach, I say we count pips. We don't need a high leverage. If we are able to choose or to count 50, 100, 150 in average by a month, in, uh, then you, it's enough. If you have a small leverage, and if you have mini lots and you are able to make or you with your trading we make 150 pips a month with one mini lots and the mini lots you need an account maybe 5000 euros or maybe 1000 or 2000 not too much you are able to make 100 dollars or 150 dollars a month that's enough absolutely enough don't forget the leverage is working in both directions. 
So, next one, some key effect shares. You know, shares are, uh, but we are out of time right now. Let's make a break here about the CFDs and the spots. I hope you learned something a little bit. My most, my most important um, message to you, don't forget, and I will not be tired to tell this every week, trading is not so easy. Guys, I will say very often, very often to you, enough is enough. I know all the marketing. I have a lot of emails every day. Make 1000% every day, Bitcoin and so on. Guys, we have the data that almost 90% of traders failed in trading to one year. It's a big lie that you can make quick and fast money in trading. It's a big, big lie. Of course, it's possible to make money, but not in that way the marketing promises to you. That's a big, big lie. Don't believe it. Be realistic. Trading, guys, is like a job. You have to learn it here in Admiral Markets. You can follow me on Battle of Titans if you want. Then we can make it together. But don't believe the lies in the markets that trading is called so easy. That's not true. It's one of the hardest jobs you can ever make. Why? We are not educated. Our, our brain is not made for trading. You can stick to your rules. You can discipline the best man ever around the world. And you can lose money. That's not an acceptable point for our brain. Don't believe it, guys. Make it happen that you learn it like a job. Together with Admiral Markets, together with me if you want. I can um, accompany you, I can encourage you, I can support you. But please stop believing that you can get rich in market very fast. That's a big, big lie. Choose the possibility with Admiral Markets to learn that like a job. Come into my family, come into our Battle of Titans project, and then you have a real chance to can make money. We started with the project Battle of Titans two months ago, and now we are on the profit with 300 pips. 300. That means 150 in average by a month. Guys, that's enough. That's absolutely enough. Imagine you have standard lots. You have an account of five or ten thousand euros. That means you made 3,000 euros in two months. That's enough without a high leverage. It's not necessary. But it's, it is a need that you learn it like a real job. Thanks for your attention, guys. I wish you a great rest of the week. And I hope we will see each other next Wednesday at Zoom. Don't forget it. Have a nice evening. And... Enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget the journey is the reward. Thanks for your lifetime. Bye-bye.